On this channel, we take minimalism very seriously. And so when a viewer of mine actually commented that I wasn't being minimal enough, I, I first I dismissed it, but then I started taking it seriously. And I was thinking, hmm, maybe that is the case. And this comment in question is on one of my videos. And they said, hey, was browsing your site. Is there a reason you use a separate program for just playing audio? If you already have MPV, why don't you just use MPV? Why do you have another program installed just to play audio whilst MPV can already play audio? Now what they're referring to is a program that I used to use, and I'll go ahead and pull this up, called MPD, short for Music Player Daemon. And as the name implies, this is just a daemon that runs in the background of your system that handles playing, organizing, sorting music, and everything in between. And it's great for playing music um, in the background, and there's many, many different clients and uh, interfaces that you can use to interact with it. Uh, like for example, this one is a really popular one that uh, many people use right here. But essentially what the viewer is, asked, uh, uh, is wondering is why I don't use a different program, which is has a very similar name called MPV. Um, and MPV is um, most notoriously used for, or most prominently used for um, playing videos, movies, whatnot. But it can actually play audio music files and stuff like that. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, let's go to my music folder. Oh, here we go. Let's play this music file. As you can see, it gives you a nice user interface for everything and a thumbnail for the music. And so I thought, and so I kind of gave this a thought, thinking, hmm, maybe this is actually a pretty good um, way to play my music. And so I actually found a script to do this for me. And it's a script I just called music. And it's a very simple, it's technically a one line script, which makes it like, which makes it very small. But all it does is it opens MPV, sets the specific window geometry, which is just the window size and where it is on the screen, shuffles the music, and then disables the terminal output so it's just a graphical user interface. And then plays all the music in my music folder. And all the uh, what this does is it uh, puts uh, puts all my uh, music files into one playlist that just plays in a row and shuffles them. In fact, if I go ahead and run this script, you'll see that it goes, uh, it goes ahead and puts all my songs into a playlist that I can just go through. And not only that, I can actually reuse my key bindings that I previously set for MPV. So for example, if uh, I press uh, uppercase H, I can go through all those songs in my playlist, which is just mostly Phil Collins music right now. Um, but I, I plan on expanding my playlist at some point. Uh, or I could use the um, Vim keys to go up, uh, go through the track, or volume keys, etc., etc. And so all my key bindings that I previously set carry over, which is such a huge hassle. Instead of having you know 50 other config files for just a music uh, player, I can do I can have one config file for both my music player and my video player, which, if you ask me, is pretty minimal. And in fact, I can I'll go ahead and just I'll let this play in the background because it's I don't, I don't think this song is copyrighted unlike the unlike the other ones. So I think I can just let this play in the background uh, if you can hear it. That is, but yeah, and it's um it's uh, better than MP it's actually better than MPD or all the other interfaces because it actually provides and displays um thumbnails by default and. I think it's just a better interface in general. MPV has a better inf interface in general, and it's just, yeah, it's it's great to have. Um, yeah, and so this is sort of like a, uh, actually, I'll, I'll turn that off. It's sort of an exercise in uh, minimalism, I guess. And 
this whole experience just really made me think that sometimes the best solutions um, are the simple, not only the simplest ones, but also just right under your nose and you don't realize it until, I guess, in my case, a viewer told me about it. And yeah, so I think this is a really interesting experience. But yeah, that's that's all. I will see you guys in the future.